This is a revision video on anaerobic respiration. So pause the video and complete the four revision questions and then we shall go through answers. Okay, let's go through answers. So for anaerobic respiration in some plants and yeast, you should have started by drawing out glycolysis and then so after pyruvate, pyruvate is decarboxylated and it is reduced and that produces ethanol. And importantly, the NAD produced from that reaction goes back to be involved in the oxidation of triose phosphate. And that's really important because it allows that continuation of ATB to be produced. So let's move on to question two. Okay, so for anaerobic respiration in animals, you should have drawn out glycolysis like this. And then in the case of uh, pyruvate it is it's reduced to produce lactate and importantly that NAD can feed back to be used for the oxidation of triose phosphate so again it keeps that cycle going it allows ATP to be continually produced So when does this occur? When does uh, uh, anaerobic respiration occur? So uh, in an absence of oxygen, when aerobic respiration can't continue. And what happens to this lactate then that's produced? So obviously lactate is an acid. It reduces the pH uh, in the tissue that it's in. And so most often this is in uh, skeletal muscle during exercise. And so if there's an accumulation of lactate, then it can impair muscle function. Um, and so to get rid of lactate, it's transported in the blood to the liver. And it can be converted to glucose and then into glycogen. So that is anaerobic respiration. Uh, relevant pages in the textbook and revision guide uh, will be provided in the description below.